Hey everybody, um, welcome. Um, Josie here, of course. Um, first off, I'd like to thank everyone who watched and subscribed after my first video. That was amazing. Um, I expected to get, you know, a couple people to watch, but yeah, I saw the views and I was like, ah! and then I saw how many subscribers I got and I was like, whoa. Um, yeah, thank you for that. That was, that was amazing. Um, apologies because it's been three months, I think. Eek. Uh, didn't intend for it to be that long, uh, but life got in the way. Um, we were without electricity for about a month and had to move in with my in-laws and yeesh. I love my in-laws, but I miss my house. Um, anyway, but I'm back. I've got some stitchy things to show. Um, ooh. I have a five-year-old behind me, but, um, anyway, so if you see any little people, it's her. Um most recent project was I followed Pam's tutorial how to do it yourself on the PVC Q snap frame and I did it yay and cost wise everything together um it's about thirty dollars I bought um more pipe than needed for just one frame. I ended up making it so I can switch it up and make th three different frames, really. Um, and I also kind of expanded on it to make a floor stand, which I'm going to have to perfect a little bit because it's a little wonky. But um, anyway, here it is. Right now it's set up as a 12 by 6. You know, 12 by 6. Um, I love it. I do. Um, I had the 6 inch Q snap. And they snap right on. Um, pro tip: Pam mentioned in her video, take one of these with you to the hardware store to make sure that it um, fits. Shh. Sorry, that it snaps on. Um, <clears throat> the first one I got, you know, I was like, hey, yes, that'll work. Got it home, pulled out my clamp, realized it was way too loose even with a piece of Ada beneath it. And I was like, no, that's, that's not going to work. So I went back and, you know, I hadn't cut anything yet. And they were like, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Because <clears throat> it's a small local hardware store. And they, um, they brought out, I think, four or five different sizes for me to try before cutting the lengths I asked for. Um, but yeah, take these with you. But I love it. Um, and I have enough to do... I cut enough extra lengths to do um, a 12 by 12, uh, a 6 by 6 for my smaller projects, and then the 12 by 6 for my wide things. But um, but this is the next extra 6 by 6 piece. And the to do the floor stand, I did um, I forget the exact measurements, but I made it so that sitting in my chair, it would be about belly height. And um, it works, it's great, but it's a little unsteady, so I'm thinking I'm going to have to do a little more configuring, play around with it, um, <clears throat> because my budget does, definitely does not allow it. But yeah, thanks Pam for that great tutorial. That was fun, and um, it was really neat showing it off to my mom and everything. And uh, she was like, you're so smart. And I was like, no, no, someone else is smart. I just took her idea. Um, another thing. Do, 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 do. Sorry, I've got everything stacked up next to me. I'm at my computer desk. Um, and I'm trying to try to get everything together. I got this a couple weeks ago, two or three weeks ago. And it's at Walmart. Yay, Walmart! And um, it's the flower sack dish cloth. And I did some measuring. And who boy did it hurt my eyes doing it. But it ranges about 38, 40 count. And of course it's cotton. And I'm hoping to drum up the courage to do something with it, cross stitch wise. If anyone out there has any experience doing that, let me know. 
um, because I I really think that that would be a nice option for me. Um, Of course, I've washed it. I have to press it because it's wrinkly, but, um, you know, and it's awfully, even on the hoop, I haven't tried it on the frame yet, but um, on the hoop, it's awfully wiggly, you know. I haven't stitched on it yet because I was just like, ooh. But, you know, because I think that would be an option for me, for a low-cost option because my budget does not allow for the beautiful linens and everything that I would love to try. So this would be an option for me. Excuse me. It's sweet tea, I promise. <clears throat> um, anyway, so that's that. I've got a few pieces of that. And then I got into dyeing. Not, but fabric dyeing. Um, and I've done do, 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 four pieces. I followed Wonderfully Hopeless's tutorial. And these are just scrap pieces of Ada in this bag. Um, and I did her ice tutorial, which was fun. My five-year-old was very impatient, and um, she just <laughs> did not like waiting for the ice to melt. But um, this was, I think the color name was Scarlet, but it's a little bit darker than it's showing up on here. Let me see. That'll offset it. Oh yeah, that offsets it. Sorry. I'm sitting in front of a double window, and I've got the mid-morning sun coming in. You know, that washed it out, too. But it's, um... Yeah! That's kind of about it. But it, it doesn't have white in it. It's, it goes varies from light pink to dark pink. Um, I was pleased with it. It was fun to do. And keeping a fabric softener sheet, a bounce sheet in the, um... <clears throat> bag with it has gotten rid of the vinegar smell. I did, um, once it was complete, I, uh, threw it in the washer to do a spin and rinse and, not rinse, but drain and spin cycle, and then I dried them flat, and I, I haven't ironed them, I will, but, um, and this is blue, I think the royal blue is the color I used, and I used the powdered dyes. Um, my 11-year-old daughter, wants me to do something on one of those for her. And then, <clears throat> this was my first foray. Um, because, <laughs> let me tell you, when I was a kid, I saw the writ, it's the dye I got, I saw those things everywhere. I can remember, you know, and it wasn't that long ago, but I can remember um, going into the grocery store and then on the aisle where the fabric and laundry things where there's just, you know, little shelves that hung off the front of the shelves and it was just box after box after box after box of all, I mean, rainbow of colors. <clears throat> Excuse me. My local grocery store um, doesn't carry them anymore. Walmart does, but it's, the only powder I saw was black and then the rest were um, the liquid. So, anyway. So this is Derp, I don't remember. I don't have it written down. Um, it's one of the greens. But it came out looking turquoisey. I hope that shows up. Yeesh. Honestly. Get yourself together, Josie. Yeah, that that's that looks like a bad end. Not only do I have the sun glare, and I have the reflection on the screen, and I'm just I hope people can see. But yeah, that was fun. Um, <clears throat> and doo -doo -doo -doo. then I was like, well, hey, let's see how this does. So this was um, black. Oh, of course. Sorry. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I did black to make kind of a... Everyone who sees it says it's a slightly different shade. So um, it's kind of a dovey, dove gray. Yeah, that looks, um, but it has a hint of lavenderish in it. I don't know. All I did, all I used was the black dye, but it was, it was fun. Um, it's really neat to see how it comes out. Um, but this is the flower sack and the rest were scrap pieces of good old 14 count Ada. 
Alrighty. So that's that. Move you. Um, let's see. I have one finish, and it's also a new start since my last video, obviously. Uh, <clears throat> for Christmas, to do to do a secret Santa thing I did online on Reddit. Um, I got this subversive cross stitch, fifty clever designs for your sassy sock. I love it. I love to just flip through and see the things. Um, sorry. I'm looking for one without a bad word. Sorry, 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 sorry. <clears throat> I should have bookmarked it. Okay. Um, I won't, got definitely going to do this one. Because I remember it was probably in Beetle Bailey, the comic strip. That that was my first exposure to the symbols used in place of curse words. Um, yeah, I definitely want to do that. And they're small, and they're not. Um, they're not. De you know, they're not detailed. No half stitches. None of that. It's you know all full cross stitch and. Um, it's fun because you know you're sitting there king, 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 king. um let's see and this is the one I did which you know if you're old enough you might remember a certain diner and a certain waitress at said diner um, <clears throat> here's mine. It's done on, <clears throat> sorry, phone's going off, of course. Uh, it's done on 11 account Ada. It was a kit my mother-in-law gave me that was old, and it just had the fabric and the pattern, no flaws. But, yeah, and I realize now that I've done it that I goofed up on the roof of the house. That's that. It's a finish. Um, and <clears throat> my 11 year old, and I may do it on one of the dyed pieces I did and just change it to all one color. Tell me I'm pretty. Because isn't that every tween and teenager now? Um, yeah, but yeah, it's fun. But yeah, um, you know, they're snarky, they're sassy, that kind of thing. Um, let's see. Uh, my whips. And I'll, I have two more new starts. No more finishes, but two new starts. First is Kitty Trio. <clears throat> And I must say, this is a Dimensions kit that I've gotten off the Bay of E. Um, and I must say that if I had known when I got it, how many flip-flapping shades of gray, black, brown there would be, I would not have done it. But anyway, but it's cute. Um, I've got one cat's face done. And uh, that's where I've been, because I, you know, I do, it's black, and then it's very dark gray, and dark gray, and gray, and light gray, and very light gray, and just, ugh, my eyes start to hurt, and I can't tell the difference in the colors. So this is one that, you know, I don't work on that much, because I get a headache. Um, which, parking, especially the browns, I park, um... <clears throat> and that helps because you know if I look at it and go oh yeah I know exactly which one you are then I can just it's easier to tell a difference but sometimes they're you know in each set there are like two or three colors that look exactly alike and if I didn't have them sorted out I wouldn't be able to do it um 
And Thomas Kincaid's Little Mermaid. She's, it's, it's fun to stitch this. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. It is fun, fun, fun. And I've got so many bits of random pieces of floss on here. But, um, but yeah, it's, it's fun. And this is where I'm at. Yeah. Sorry. This is where I'm at. I'm still in the sky. Um, I love it, but at the same time, because it's so many shades of blue and purple and yellow and orange, I decided, you know what, I need a break from that. I need, you know, to drop down to another color. So I went down to the center line, same page. And of course, what color is it? It's flip slapping blue. Um, and then, <clears throat> excuse me, pardon me. Okay, um, so then I drop down to the bottom left, and that's some dark greens and some, so a little bit of blue. You know, if you don't like, which I love the color blue, but you know, um, you get sick of the same shades over and over again. But um, I try to do, well, I've been trying to do it grid by grid so I can say, Okay, I did 300 stitches on this today, or 100, or 500, and one day I did 800, I think. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, it's fun. It's beautiful. Uh, parking is my new best friend. And I do the um, waist knot on the front that I believe Pam, God bless her, um, she had a tutorial on it. I think my son is running behind me. But anyway, um, that's the mermaid. You know, still no mermaid yet, but getting there. Um, new starts. Do, 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 do. I actually have three new starts. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, this is Gingham Cats, and it's by... Holly Carbonari, Carbonari. Um, it was in a booklet that I got that I just realized I left over there. Um, can I help you? What wrestling box? What wrestling box? Why? I used parts of it for myself. Why? Because I needed it. Why? For something. <clears throat> Sorry. I have kids. Um, anyway, this is called Gingham Cats. And, ta -da! This one, up here, it's supposed to be red and, I think, this shade of pink. And, it gave me so many troubles to get the alternating... Hello. Mommy. Yes, dear? My hands are wet. Okay, well, get the towel in the bathroom and dry them, okay? There's no towel. Well, there's one in the dryer. Mm -hmm. Do you need help? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry about that. Kids, drama. You know. Anyway, um, back to this. I mentioned that that thingy, and it's supposed to have backstitching lettering between here and here. And it, it says it's cute things like you know, cat, you know, cat of nine tails, Cheshire cat, cat on a hot tin roof, that kind of thing. But me, eh, I'm happy with it the way it is. And obviously, I don't like backstitching because I've had, you know, it's been at this point for what's today, uh, for about a month now, and I just. But it was cute. It was fun to stitch, and I viewed each little, each individual cat as a mini project, so it's been fun. So that's an almost finish. I need to buckle down and get on that and finish it. Okay, next new start is 
to do. I started this. What in the world? Of course. Um, it's a fusilla. Okay. My computer keeps giving me warnings. Um, it's a fusilla. Bengal tiger. Benji tiger is the name of it. Um, but yeah, I got this at Walmart, of course. And I started this one day when I just didn't feel like doing anything. Um, what in the world? Sorry. And I've gotten two rows done. Hooray. And my son's back. And he's not going to make a sound. Because floss tube is weird. We ladies are crazy. Aren't we, dear? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Just people talking about boy stuff. Hey! They're wasting their time. Anyway, my next new start is... It's called Mom and the Kids. It's by Diane... Grabner. Grabner. Um... Anyway. Boys. Uh... Oh, I also forgot to mention the needle minder. Um, do, 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 do. Here. This little gingerbread man was part of a rack that I will be mentioning soon. So remember him as the gingerbread man. This is the gingerbread girl needle minder, also included in the rack. But this is Mom and the Kids 2. Originally, it was going to be my mother's birthday present. Her birthday was February 10th. I didn't get it done. But anyway, <clears throat> so now I'm aiming for Mother's Day. Which is in two, three, ew, soon. So this may be a late Mother's Day. Or I might finish the Gingham Cats and give her that. She loves cats, in case you didn't know. Um, but yeah, this is... Um, and I'm doing it... <clears throat> excuse me. The It's on 28 count even weave. Um, that I bought specifically for this project and um, I'm using two over one and this is the first time I've ever done that and instead of full crosses I'm doing half cross or half ten stitch I think it's also called but I love it I like the um, I tried doing full crosses and it was just too bulky I couldn't get the needle through because on I like the size 28 needles. I really do. Um, especially with these little teeny tiny holes. Um, yeah, and then her, the mom's hand is just this, just one tiny spot right here. I think that is all of the skin that shows. Um, but I did that one over one. Again, with the cross stitch. Half stitch. <clears throat> yeah, I love seeing this come together. Um, and I believe there are one, oops, sorry, I don't have the finished picture in front of me, but there are two, three, four more cats to do, and some flowers behind mom, and then like, there's a few more cats in here, and then there's a flower bed, and then there's like, almost like a tree branch above here. Um, But she's fun to stitch, but she's one of those um, that I can't really mindlessly stitch. I have to, you know, constantly count and everything, count her and everything. Um, yeah, that's for my mom, of course. Uh, I showed you the Kingdom Cats. And do, 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 do. And then I've got kitted up. To start once I finish one or two things. Um, it's in the June Just Cross Stitch. It is called Summerscape. Looking for the, Sharon Pope is the designer. I just think it's beautiful. Um, you know, it's not full coverage. This is all, yeah, that's all free and clear, but I'm going to be doing it on to do, to do 18 count Ada, which I have already, 
and <clears throat> I have it kitted um, because it's five, ten, 34 colors, I believe. But yeah, um, there we go. Got it all boxed up. And also, I ran out of bobbins while bobbinating this. So, what I did was, <clears throat> excuse me, my allergies are kicking my butt this season. Um, this is one regular bobbin. It's the plastic, you know, hard plastic kind. I um, traced it. Pardon me. First, I took index cards. I have tons of those because I'm a homeschooler. Um, traced it. Traced this circle. Um, what first what I did was I took two index cards. Pardon me. Sorry, you got a close up view of something you probably didn't want a close up view of. Um, took two index cards. These are blank, but you know. And then I glue sticked them together. And then it'll probably fade in, but you can get at least two. Maybe even, you know, if you squeeze it in there, you can probably get like five or six out of one set. But I glue sticked them together, traced it, um, traced the hole. And then cut it, did the snip snip for the little slots. I'm gonna use my hole punch, my little, it's my regular little squeezy hole punch. Um, and they're not quite, cause I have a, I had a pack of the DMC and they're not quite as thick as that, but they'll do because um, I have um, a different DMC storage system that I've set up. Um, it involves a, oh, pardon me, it involves a, <clears throat> excuse me, card catalog drawer from the library. Um, how many of you remember card catalogs? Raise your hand. Yay! Uh, in fact, I, you can see it right about here. It's 10 drawers, um, and they hold the little, which I use the jewelry bags from Walmart, I think I've mentioned before, um, and a trimmed down 3x5 card. Uh, and it's, yeah, they're sorted. I'll, if anyone is interested to see my storage, let me know. I'll do a video, a quick video on my storage slash stitchy stash. Um, yeah, I have Summerscape kitted up. And also, speaking of just cross stitch, these are some projects that I'm going to be doing once I get all the stash. Um, my aunt is very big on gardens, vegetable, flower gardens too, but vegetable gardens. She loves growing vegetables and eating vegetables and preserving vegetables. So I'd like to do this. It is Farm Fresh Basket by my five-year-old is in here again Mama. designer is Ursula Michael Mama. what dear elephant. your elephant you found your elephant where was he in your room, under your bed. hiding under my bed was he hiding under my bed when you were, when you were cleaning the house okay in your room. okay thank you for sharing can you say hi to floss tube Hi. Say hi, Floss Tube. Hi, Floss Tube. Okay, now go. I, uh, okay, thank you. I don't need your elephant in here. You can take him with you. Okay, sorry. Um, anyway, Farm Fresh Basket by Ursula Michael. Um, I love it. It's, you know, in the shape of a basket. And it says, life began in a garden. Um, celery, tomato, beets, pumpkins, peas, broccoli, squash, corn on the cob, green beans, onions, potato, cucumber. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty. And it's got a finish for a bag, but I'll probably just wall hanging or, um, frame. 
I'm not good one. Mommy, look at I found. Yes, dear. What is that? It's a coin. <gasps> Yay, you're rich. Um, and this was on the cover. It is, sorry, I'm going to look for the designer's name. Okay. It's the Poppy. Um, I just think they're gorgeous flowers. And I know um, I see them mostly for Remembrance Day. Mommy, may I see a book? Ma'am? May I read a book? Your books are over here on the floor. And then those are Terry Terry's books. But I want to do that because I like poppies. Um, <clears throat> and... Do, 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 do. I put bookmarks in here, but um, and luckily I subscribed to this late last year, um, and luckily I have the first two designs in this series. Yes, okay, set it there on the desk. Thank you. Sorry. Um, I have the first two, which are winter and spring. Um, and this is seasons and chalk. And this one is summer. I want to do all four. I'm looking forward to see what um, autumn looks like. But the designer is the art. Priscilla Blaine did the design uh, artwork, the chalk work, and the um, cross stitch design was by Kathy Haberman. Hope I did that right. Uh, and I think that was it in this issue. I um. I can assure you that some people are going to scream when they hear this, but I only save the patterns out of magazines that I know I will do. Um, for instance, I know that I will be doing Summerscape, and I know that I will be doing the Poppy, and I know that I will be doing the Seasons and Chalk and the um, Farm Fresh Basket. I know that. None of the other patterns really speak to me. They're cute, you know, but... I'm no, I'm not gonna do them. So I don't, I don't save them. Uh, well, I do, but I just don't save them in my pattern books. Um, but no, I, I, um, I tear out, and I can, I'm mentally the, the former library assistant in me is cringing and screeching at that too because oh my gosh. But um, you know, I just tear out the pattern. And say I chunk the rest. It's all in a um, they're all in a container. And then I just chunk them in there. You know, I not just randomly throw pages in there, but you know, I toss them in there. And then, you know, maybe one day I'll go through. My daughters might go through them and say, "Hey, mom, I want to do this." Okay, let me check my list. Checking his list, making it, oh wait, making his list, checking it twice, gonna find out who's naughty and nice. Okay, my rack, and I forgot it, because it's over there. Be right back. Okay, now the rack. <clears throat> Excuse me. You remember the gingerbread man and gingerbread girl, lady, woman, whatever, needle minders? Um... They were included, and then also these, and of course the leaf is upside down. It's the leaf and <clears throat> Wuthering Heights by Bronte book cover, which is adorable. Um, love them. Not using them right now because I don't have a project for them, but I will eventually. And also included were derp, derp, derp. Oh, I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, there it is. There are these leaflets, booklets. These are from Kate. And I love them, I love them, I love them. Um, Gingham Cats. was from Cross Stitch Cats. This is from American School of Needlework. And, yeah, that's got quite a few little... Obviously, it's all cats, and I, I'm a sucker for cats. Um, 
Yeah, um, and this is the other selection. Yeah. I heart cats. A cat with Christmas balls. A ginger cat. And a gray cat. And another ginger cat. Yeah, love those. Yes, dear. Who are these two names? That is Barlow and T Tala. That's a girl? I guess so. That's a girl? That's a boy. That's a girl? Yeah. They can be whatever you want to be. Um, and then Paws and Claws. This is by Sto the Stony Creek Collection. Um, which I, I, I love it. I keep looking through it to going, oh, I want to do that, I want to do that, I want to do that, 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 that. But um, one of the main ones I want to do, and I'm hoping it's got a good picture, I think it's, yeah, right here, is the Tuxedo Cat on a Fence Post. I love that. I love Tuxedo Cats. I love all cats. Yeah, all cats. But Tuxedo Cats hold a special place. <clears throat> and then there's your Yorkie. And the collie. My son wants that because he loves Lassie. Um, and then on the front, you've got your cat and kit, cat, kitten and puppy. The ginger cat with flowers, and then the German Shepherd at the mailbox. And inside, I think it shows all of them. Yeah, there's quite a few. Yeah, love the little things. I love these booklets. I do. I do. I do. Um, then keeping on the, I think Kate realized. That I like cats a little bit. I think she she kind of got that hint. But um, this is from Dimensions. Martha Edwards Whiskers and Wings. Which is just beautiful. It's the cat looking out the window at the birds. I love it. My mom wants me to do it for her. Because she loves birds too. But yeah. Love it, love it, love it. Um, and then there's Leisure, leisure, leisure Arts. Um, celebrating Alphabets. And it's got the flag, alphabet, um, the Christmas, the um, Hanukkah, Jewish, which I really like because it's got the Star of David. And I'm not Jewish, but I, I think the Star of David and the menorah are beautiful. Um, and happy birthday with cupcakes. My five-year-old, I call her Cupcake, so I think I'm going to have to do her name with the cupcake. Then there's Roses, and Easter, there's the baby, and then there's Hearts. I'm going to see if there's another photo. Yeah. Um, we've got Autumn with the leaves and the acorns, and Pumpkins with bats and ghosts, and Graduate. The snowflakes. I think that was all of them. It doesn't say, 13 alphabets. The sound. It's the Valentine alphabet, which is the hearts. Um, they have a shamrock. Easter. The, uh, birds and eggs and tulips. Um, roses. Graduation. The patriotic. The stars and the stripes. Autumn. Pumpkins. Or Halloween, rather. Hanukkah, poinsettia, poinsettia. I never know how to pronounce that word. Never. I am. How old am I? Yeah, 38 years old, and I don't know how to pronounce that. Not Christmas flower word. Snowflakes, baby, and cupcake, which they call it the birthday alphabet. Um, that's it. Thank you so much, Kate. Um, obviously, I enjoy it because I've done one of the patterns already. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Um, how you guess that I like cats? I don't know, man. That that's um, that's a new one on me. Thank you so much. I, I was blown away when I got the um, message on. She messaged me on Facebook and said, "I want to send you some." What? You know. Um, okay. Next up, newish Aquas. I don't. I don't know when I got this. I don't know if I even mentioned it on my last video. But this has been one of my favorite, or, yeah, money well spent, um, because it was $35, $40, somewhere along in there, but I wanted it, well, 
I need I say I needed it I didn't need it but I really really wanted it um, it's the DMC color card and it's the one with actual gloss samples <sighs> um, I love that it's arranged by shade um, and it's got the and it, at the back it's got it's got a note from my daughter sorry um but yeah it's got them all listed I call by number Fine. and it's got you know this was to the best of my knowledge um this was made in do, 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 do. this particular version was released in the only the 2014 so yeah um so it's a couple years out of date um and i know that there are newer colors they're always then i know there's the coloris line but i haven't gotten any of that but the main reason i wanted it is um those of you who shop at walmart hey no they sell well mine does at least i'm sure others do too but it's like the big mega packs of floss it's like 101 skeins for say three bucks um and it's by jmp codes and there is no conversion online and in fact i can understand why because i mean personally gone through i think i had three packs there are they are the exact same color but the num the number that coats jmp coats gave them don't even match up half the time so you might have two shades of two skeins of the same shade of brown and they all will have completely different numbers so anyway so this is why i needed that you know um there were i think three or four that i couldn't match at all they weren't even close um but i sorted them into the jewelry bags, which I don't know if I've even mentioned this. These are from the jewelry section, jewelry making section, I should say. Hello, Lily. Hey. Um, of Walmart. Can you tell I spend a lot of time at Walmart? Um, and where is... I get the three by five index cards and I, you know, trim them down to fit in. These are the three by five sized um, bags. I was, my first bags I got four by six, but they were just way too big. Um, well, not way too big, but they were just, to me, they were too big for what I needed them for. But these were perfect. They're the three by five size, and it's like two bucks for a hundred, I think, if that much. It might be 200 for a buck. I don't know. Um, but yeah. Um, but I, the index card, I trim it down. It goes into the bag. And then on the index card, I wrote the DMC number. Um, because, and I have used some on, in fact, on Gingham Cats. I used one of the, it was the 321, the red. And I didn't have any DMC, but I did have the J and P coats. Yes. Coke. Choke. Choke. C H O. C H O. K E. Hey, Kelly, look I found. Okay, go. Sorry. Um. Lost my train of thought. I've used it. Um, and with Thread Heaven which I use on everything. Which reminds me, I lost my little box of Thread Heaven yesterday and I can't find it. Um, I was cross-stitching here at my desk and it... Where's my thingy? Where is my thingy? That was the chair. Um, I have this little stackable box. Again, Walmart, I think it was a buck ish but it holds my thread heaven that's my older one that I used Letitia's idea for the beeswax holder um anyway it helps. this is my needles my 
Ah, a little needle book that I made one night out of dropped my tweezers but it has tweezers seam ripper my little doodaddies um and I don't keep needle minders in here because I did excuse me my chair is creaky creaky um I did keep needle minders in here but I disliked going for it this is my mother-in-law's floss that I have to give back to her she loaned me some floss for a project. I think it was Gingham Cats, actually. Um, <clears throat> anyway, little blue box, of, brand new box of Thread Heaven was in here. Because I didn't know where else to put it away from little bitty five-year-old hands. But um, anyway, I opened it up to get something. And it went flying. It bounced on the floor. I heard it roll. Didn't see it land. Tore this room. No sign of it. Um, my room wasn't mat and filthy. It wasn't nasty either. So I don't know what happened to it. It's gone into parts unknown. I'll probably find it as soon as I get a new one. But anyway, um, <clears throat> back to the JMP coats. Uh, yeah, I don't see any difference, really. I mean, yeah, side by side, there's a slight sheen difference, but you know it's good enough it doesn't break it doesn't fray at least it hasn't on me yet <clears throat> excuse me but anyway but yeah um what is this oh that's the mom and the kids um okay other new things was this 18 count ada that i bought for <clears throat> summer escape which i have already, you know, measured it 50 times and trimmed, cut down the piece. And then I got, um, for those of you who may not have heard about it, but, you know, I'm pretty sure I'm the only one that wasn't in the loop. Because I don't keep up with stuff like this. Where is the darn thing? <sighs> got everything stacked right in here and it's totally going to fall. Yay, it didn't fall. Um... I think every issue of Just Cross Stitch I've gotten has had this art ad, ad, ad on the back. It's the new classic Sullivan's USA um, thread. And I looked it up and I couldn't really find other than a couple of mentions on an old forum here and there. Couldn't really find much discussion about it. Um, the main key selling point for me was that it was on 123 Stitch, it was 10 cents cheaper per skein. What I love about it is, watch me not be able to find it. You know, it's been sitting up here all week. Aha, here we go. This is, like the Sullivan's number is 45068, and it's DMC335. So. You know, that's it. It's the... You know, it's that darkish... I don't know, fuchsia, pink, whatever. Dark pink. Um, you know, and I, I had... Which I went ahead and, um... Ordered it all from, you know, for the entire... All of the colors for the project. This is from Summerscape, by the way. Um, went ahead and ordered it all. And I had some, you know, some of the colors, of course, I had. I have 310 coming at the yin yang. Um, <clears throat> but I went ahead and ordered it all. And I have done some practice stitches on some old Ada. And I can't tell a difference. I mean, it doesn't, it claims to be you know, tangle free, blah, 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 but, you know, I did it with and without Ada, and I can't tell the difference, I mean, I mean, not Ada, God, <sighs> what's the thread having, sheesh, I'm telling you, I'm losing my mind, um, anyway, I can't tell the difference, I mean, I j again, I just did like 15 stitches with it. So I can't really consider myself an expert yet. 
but um, we shall see once I get Summerscape started how that works out. Um, I've lost my notes. Uh, yeah, da, 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 da. I think I've covered everything. Um, I want to do the accent challenge, the talking, speaking challenge. But I'm not going to do this on this because I've done, yeah, who knows how much time so far. But yeah, I'm going to do that on a different one. But yeah, if you want to see the um, card catalog floss storage, let me know and I'll do it. I'll do a quick little video and show you how all of my, because it's just that one corner there. It's where all my stitchy stuff is. Um, in fact, if you look, if it'll... You can see the cookie sheet hanging that holds my, pull the finger in, Josie. There we go. That holds my needle, my extra needle minders. And then there's the shelves with my patterns and kits and stash stuff. And then over there on a table is the card catalog. And then I don't think it's picking it up, but I got my hoops and my scroll frames hanging on the wall. Um, because... One, I didn't have room to, I didn't have like a drawer or a container to put them in. And two, this way they're up out of the way. I did have them stuck in one of the um, storage bins, like so. This is my whip bin. Um. Anyway, I had them stored in there, but they just got in the way, especially the longer scroll rod. So I finally said... Honey, pull out your power tools and put some screws in the wall. And so, he did. Yay. But yeah, um, let me know and I'll show you the corner. Um, It's not my stitchy spot. It's just my stitchy... I don't know what to call it. My storage corner. My stitchy storage corner. But yeah, let me know. Um. So yeah, I think that's it. Once I edit this, it'll probably be, yeesh. Oh, gosh. Anyway, missed you guys. I've got some, I've got a lot of catching up to do on Flosstube. Um, we are currently without internet. I've had to use my phone data to watch the few videos I have. Um, so that's why, if you haven't seen me comment or like it, or anything it's because I don't really get a chance to you know and some of the, the videos I have watched I just kind of skim through um but yeah I miss you guys um if you're on cross stitch finish club finish line sheesh I can speak English I promise it's my first language it's my only language and she's back what? Okay, I'm going to fix lunch as soon as I finish. Your face is nasty. Mm -hmm. What have you been doing? <laughs> last night. That's not from last night. You were clean when you went to bed last night. Would you quit sticking your tongue out? You were, you did night. You didn't wash this part. Yes, I did wash your face. You were here, you did it. You didn't saw it. How could I miss that? Cause. Cause if you had an ice cream sandwich this morning. Yeah. That's what it's from. Do you like ice cream sandwiches? Yes. Why are you grinning? Cause. Okay. Well, I'm going to sign off here so I can feed my children. Stop sticking out your tongue. Please. <laughs> <sighs> okay, I'm gonna go. Really? This is ridiculous. Uh, but yeah. Today is Thursday, the 21st of April. Um, it'll probably be the 22nd. Friday! Woo! When I post this. Um, yeah. Would you quit? I quit! You're being gross. Only mommy spit gets things off of faces.
Come here. No. Come on. No. Oh, I'm kidding. I did not wash, spit into it. I washed already. Well, use a tissue. Still dirty. You need the water and soap and a sandblaster. Oh, sandy pa sand sanded paper. It's so sandy face. Would you just go? Okay, I know what. You can close them all. Mm. Yeah. Okay, say bye, floss tube. Bye, floss tube. Can you say it a little bit louder? Bye, floss tube. Say see you soon. See you soon. And bye bye. Bye bye. See you guys later. Bye.